Today we are at North Perry Airport in Broward County, Florida. We are here for a very specific reason. We're here to fly a sling. You see this Dynasty Aviation here? Well, you can't just yet, but you will in a minute. So this year, Dynasty Aviation are the distributors for sling in this area. This is how you pre-flight a sling. Good. Yeah. So you can see the rudder is controlled by the cables and the other component is controlled by the push rods. All right. right. The rudder right here and the two antennas for VOR. Okay. And live on TOT. The emergency uh, located just here. And over here is radio antenna. On the bottom we have a second one, radio antenna over there. And in front of that we have a two. It's for GPS carving. Okay. So you check out the axis. Okay, it's on lead. So you can see the push rods right here. So it's controlling. It's not a cable, it's push rods. Push rods? Yeah. Yes. Looks like it's got a nice feel to it. Yeah. That's buttery smooth, isn't it? Here's the bringing airplane there. Gotcha. Yeah, in Miami, you gotta have walking fuel pads. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, at least you're gonna bring a 39.6 gallon. Yep. And the useful fuel will be 38.6, and you burn roughly 3.8 gallon per hour. 3.8? Yeah, 4.2. It depends on your power setting. It's a camel. It's a camel. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Uh, uh, we have a three fuel jam. Three steel. Okay, the one right here, yep. the other one, the other one. And over there, we have a thing we call the gas collator. Yep. So, when you have water in the dust, we accumulate right here in the bottom of the engine. So, it still can drain it. The rice pretty clear. So, we good. Beautiful. So this airplane is equipped with a nitro uh, out project engine with 100 horsepower. So you can see pretty clear. So right here we have an individual oil tank. So we'll just check the oil stick right here. Oh, that's cool. So it's kind of low. So because of the different systems have a profit, we have the rotating propeller to stand you back oil back to our oil reservoir. Make sure your mags are off. Yes, mags are off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we keep rotating until we hear the burp. I think we call it burp. It's like your toilet. Toilet. Yeah. There's a burp. There's a burp. <laughs> Alright, so now we check. We can see the oil is coming back on the engine, so it's good. Okay, so here we have hydraulic reservoir right here, and it's cool and tempered, the coolant for the engine. Alright, so this intake will be the air intake for the engine. Alright, and we have a fuel filter right here, and air filter is right here. Alright, so you can see the engine is super tiny. Yeah, so it's, it's not pretty, a big engine. functional, pretty powerful engine. Maybe not powerful, it's only 100 horsepower. But because we're light, so okay, cruising roughly 95 cruising speed. Yeah. It's impressive on 100 horsepower. Yeah. Alright, so in the front, we can see the spinners right here. We have a three ceramic propeller. So it's ground adjustment angle with the mechanic. So you can adjust angle whatever you want. Not, not whatever you want. You can follow the mechanism after. Alright, so there's two hall for air intake holding the engine. Alright, in the center, we have oil coolers right here. And on the bottom, there's a radiator, just like a car. Alright, so here we have our feeder tube. So in the feeder tube intake, and on the bottom, the small one, that will be the angle attack sensor. Angle attack, angle attack sensor. On the back, we have a drain hall for the feeder tube. So there's an angle attack sensor? Yes, yes. So when you do the stop, you can see this angle, angle attack indicator in the screen. Yep. So it shows you, showing you your approaching crystal or not. With the color, so first of all, you're green one. Yep. Green color means you're pitching up, kind of too much. And after that, if you keep pitching up, you'll see the, the yellow. And if you see the flashing red, means you need to drop. Here's a small step right here. So just step on it, and then hand down and hold it. So only step on the black stripe. Right. Only on the black stripe it is. Right, hold it going up. Right. Yep. All right, so it's master is right here. Maintain our assistance to show you something. So we do have autopilot right here. And here's our backup instrument, G5, and has an instrument, I mean, the radio system, G650. So everything's touch stream. Right, so in the center console, there's the parking brake. So the difference between this airplane and the Cessna Piper is the easier brake system. We're using the handbrake instead of the toe brake. Oh, okay. So here we will brake. Is right here using your hand, yeah. And the throttle control will be right here, a little bit forward for power and idle. All right, so in the center, we can still control your fuel selector right or left, or even turning off. All right, so this the many systems right here, as you can see, we have PFT and MFT. So over there, we're showing your flight instrument, right? And on your right, MFT multifunction have a lot of function that like you can use in the map. Of like sessional charts right here, I can help you not getting lost. Yeah, and you've got your uh, got you, and this is your zoom here. Yes. Oh, nice! In, so it shows out. me my airspace. Where and if I today am. you fly instrument, you can switching to the instrument load chart. I have load charts. I mean, yes. Okay, here we go. So you can, and this airplane is instrument rated, so you can fly the instrument for this airplane for sure. So right. if I want to enter a flight plan, I do it on this one or on this one? I do on this one. It's connected okay. together. You said to load an instrument approach. 
yeah, direct to Opaloka. Yes, and press enter. enter. Let's go back a little bit. So now we filed to the. You're gonna go in from here. The procedures. Place procedures. And if you do the approach, approach, approach and choose which route you want it. Let's say ILS 27, 27 right. 27 right, so you can load it. Okay, so when you're flying, when you're setting for the least one, they will have a small airplane on, on, the, on the map to show your location more precisely. OP with F. So when you load the approach, they're gonna show you a location upon an approach chart. Where's your transponder? Transponder is right here. It's, con it's gotcha. in the system. Circus brake is right here. But now you said single brake, so you can't differentially brake around no, corners. No, they can't knock it together. So when you're applying, yeah. the both wheel will stop it together. So over there we have a trim indicator. So the trim tab is right here. You can use in your bottom to press and turn the nose down, nose up. Right here, going and the flap indicators right here. We have a three notch for the flaps 10 degrees, 20, and 30 degrees. And the switch will be right here. Gotcha, yeah. And the control is pretty sensitive and responsive. So you can see, you guys make a small control, small changing. Yeah, the aileron keep working a lot. Yeah. So this airplane is super sensitive. So always be gentle for this airplane. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. Let me close. Turning off everything. Yeah. Safe battery. EF is off. Just back up off. And EF stands for Electric Electronic Flight Instrument Systems. So we have a two systems. EF is one is connected with this switch, and this one's the switch is connected to your backup. And avionic for radio is right here, and autopilot is right here. And we've had two fuel pumps, electrical power, so main fuel pump and an auxiliary fuel pumps. All right, and the all light systems right here. So it's kind of different because we don't have a big light; we use strobe light. All right. So our strobe light is flashing white light; it's not a red light. Gotcha. So you just leave your strobe on, yeah, like I leave a beacon on. Yes. Right. Same thing as a beacon lights. All right. And here's a heater. I think we, we're not going to use them today <laughs> in Florida. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. And we will have pedo two pedo heat. And on the back is a baggage area. It's pretty roomy. So you can put something on the back. And just start. All right. So key. We're going to go then one right here, please. Golden key is in. Where are my mags? On the key? Yeah, on the key. I mean, your mags will be right here. Aha, uh -huh, that's and okay. It's kind of like the same, same function as a magnet, magnet though. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's what lanes are. Gotcha. Lanes. Yeah, you're controlling your spot plug. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, we've got uh, master two on. Yes. Master two on. We got lane A on. We got lane B on. We got main fuel pump on. Mm -hmm. We got EFIS backup on. EFIS one on. Flaps are set to all the way up. Strobe, strobe is on. Right Fuel selector is left tank. Okay. Any difference in the two? No. No, we can take a little later for the indicator. Brakes, lock and hold. So, so now you said that's on. So let's up right now. Yeah. How can we lock it? The parking brake. We're gonna put it all the way back. We hold the pressure and put it on position and release the pressure. That's it. That's it. Yes. Parking brake is locked on. Throttle lever is slightly cracked. Yes. Trim is to neutral. Yeah, indicator for right here. Put it just going in the center. Trim is dead center. Yes. ECU battery backup on for five seconds. So release button. This switch is like a primer. Yeah. Primer engine. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. Four one thousand. Five one thousand. Right, we are done priming. Check lane light extinguished. Lights to English, the both one. Prop area. Clear the propeller area at this time, please. We are clear. <laughs> Starter is engaged on the key. All right. So when you're starting the engine, let's put RPM to 2,000. All right. 2,000 on the RPM.
to check. Check is clear. Okay, loud and clear. North Fair for information, Romeo, 135, three Zulu observation, wind, 010 at 5, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 21, 2.15 at temperature 3021, on air GPS runway 28 right, circuit of runway 1 right, arriving to party runway 1 left and right, advisory to all pilots must read back, hold short, instruction with call sign, please take a call sign, initial contact, use caution, bird activity in the vicinity of the airport, advise on initial contact, you have information, Romeo. Uh, one whiskey up across, one zero left. All right, you have control, so we need some parking brake. Let me have the other park check, please. So I just released this off. Just released off. Stop moving forward. The Papa Echo Mike cross to a right. Right, go ahead. And just keep going. Go forward or take a go forward. And follow the line, make a left turn a little bit. Taxing the uh, Papa Echo Mike for crossing 28 right on Echo and holding short of 28 right on Mike. So for passing, I was heading, will be a 17-hundred. Yankee, hold short, one right at Mike, that's the read-back, re correct. So at least power set is kind of sensitive, so now you're going to get yeah. in. Yeah, you got to say hold short. I got 1900. Hold short of one right at Mike. Oh, this taxi's beautiful. Yes, go and study. Taxi the, uh, so how do you, three, Mike. can I 360 and, uh, this somehow? Yes. 28 left at Lima 3, hold short, one right at Mike. I'll just hold it. We're going to take the one left via Lima 3, Lima, um... This journey radius is kind of kind of small for these airplanes. Yeah. Way to yeah. Left and hold short of the one right at Mike. The guy has some powers. November 361. So all lots are running. Yeah, all lots are running. So we don't have to use the unit right at anymore. Mile, but I want you to hold short one right yeah. on one zero right. Roger, we're turning too fast. Just add some brake. Make it slowly down. One so you can see the radius in kind of a small police weapon. Uh, one uh, right. So pretty easy. It's 360. Uh, one zero right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> magic. Complete magic. All right, so. Break. Number nine, Romeo Lima, right down, right down, one one zero, right, clear for takeoff. Nine, Romeo Lima, clear for takeoff. And a right down, one. Right down, wing one zero, right, clear for takeoff. And Romeo Lima. All right, let's go. All right, you have control for the power. Follow the line. Check the. Number nine, hotel tower. Your traffic just passed off your left wing, one zero left, clear for the option. All right, nine, hotel. All right, one zero, right. So let's slowly put it full power. Confirming runway one zero, right. That is full power. Let's go. All right, appearing good. Airs be alive. Keep Airs going. Airs alive. Oh, okay. Leave the right rudder. 55. Let's rotate. All right. Our climbing speed will be 72. All right. Our knee wire. The top of the top All right. Keep going. Three one two left. Three one two left. Three one two left. Three one two left. Number 2196 Victor. Oh, she's swirling. I like that. Downwind 10 yeah. right, take off. Right downwind 10 right. Beautiful view in here, too. Yeah, you should see a copy. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Uh, All right. Now, 200 feet. Let's, let's go. 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 let us go What a what beautiful data! Alright, let's go. Perfect. Spend your life. Yeah, copy a 512 X ray. Would like to pick up the flight plan? Alright, lower it. No, sir. Contact ground 120. So everything you did should be super tiny. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, you did it. It's almost like you got a brace on your leg. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going to the downwind. What's that building right there? That's a that's a Hard Rock Stadium. Oh, that's okay. For the Dolphins. Oh, that's where the Dolphins play? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. November 7, 3, Foxtrot. Right to downwind, 1, 0, right, quick to take off. All right, let's keep climbing to uh, 1,500. This is more like a glider. This thing is super so, nice. Yes. Yes. Number 9 through 5 with Kelsey, I'm going to show you what you're going to take off for cross traffic. Got it. Number 9, Hotel Charlie, 10 left, clear for the option, and then I need you to contact our 134.3, which is floating. Alright, let's maintain right up, please. Uh, 
a highway. Maybe we can clear air to this one. Okay, 1,800 feet. Over the mic. Oh, that was all with us. Okay, yeah. so let's get in depth a little bit just in case, alright? It's going down to 1500 feet, it's going down quicker, alright. You don't have let to... Me, let me Dutch it one time just to see where we are with the Dutch. Okay. We're at 1620. That's no rudders, there's my waggle. It doesn't yaw that much. It does not yaw that much. Garrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
17, 20, 17, 20, there's my wake on the truck. Yeah. That's it. Oh, that's impressive, man. Couple lazy eights. Use this one over here. Okay. I'm not going to be so lazy because I'm all keen on this airplane now. <laughs> Number two Hotel Sierra, number two Hotel Sierra, contact Miami Center 133.85. Number two Hotel Sierra, contact Miami Center 133.85. Acknowledge with that. Started a little early. Okay, no worry. There's an airboat down there. Yep. God, this is absolutely one of the most fun I've flown in a while. It's kind of like aerobatic airplane. There's traffic to my right. Okay, I got it. It wants to gain altitude on me. Whoops. Sorry. Don't worry. Going down. Altitude still 17. This thing is amazing, dude. Yeah, I see where you moved from California. <laughs> What else is there? There's eight some pylons, but those are uh, exciting. Yeah, it's not. Eight some pylon is how he's acting. Traffic to the right. So, uh, to pick up my track, let's do a direct to. Alright, so we just follow the line, magenta line. My homestead's right down there, and it's approximately 20 nautical miles. Yes, 15 minutes. That's fine. Don't meow. I'll one two one five. Got me, buddy. Ah, see. All right, hold step for CTA for B one two two point eight. And that then an excellent day flying the Sling Two uh, here at North Perry Airport outside of Hollywood. Florida. We took the Sling 2, we flew it out across the Everglades. That footage you probably have seen because that I did capture as far as I know. And then into Homestead, did a couple touch and goes in Homestead, did one full stop taxi back. Went back out of Homestead, went down across the outer side of Miami, which was stunning. I did manage to get one picture of that and then flew it back in here. All in all, an amazing little airplane this. Um, flies like a dream with a little Rotax engine. Thank you, Dynasty Aviation.